Metropolitan Museum in Garden City. The last Navy F-14 Tomcat jet fighter ever to fly being wheeled out of the museum's hangar Wednesday. This fully restored icon of American aviation rolled out very carefully for a brief viewing outside the museum's main entrance. You must be great at parallel parking. No, no, not really. Peter Truesdell, despite his protests, is the museum's top gun when it comes to parking these bad boys. You gotta go slow. This F-14 Tomcat, which can fly more than 1,500 miles an hour, took a little over half an hour to travel a couple hundred yards from the hangar down there to the front of the museum here. But what's the hurry? The F-14 Tomcat was transported along Hempstead Turnpike in June from where it had been parked for 17 years outside the former Grumman Corporation offices in Bethpage. Not every day you're seeing an F-14 drive right next to you. The business was in here. Richard Kalin, who helped put together these F-14s on the shop floor at the Grumman plant starting in the 70s, volunteered to rid this jet fighter of the birds, nests, and everything else. How long did it take you to clean this thing? Three weeks. This aircraft flew combat missions over Afghanistan and Iraq up until 2006. It was a, really a fighter bomber. It carries missiles for air to air combat and it has a 20 millimeter Gatling gun in the nose. And now it's come home for good, where it will be on permanent display starting next spring outside the main entrance to the Cradle of Aviation Museum. Steve Langford for Newsday TV.